So Tally really wants to talk to us about the Geth. I don't know what specifically, but I have a feeling that she might be a little upset about the whole not taking her to Pharaoh's thing. And she hasn't brought it up yet, so maybe that's not it, but... If that is the case, she kind of has a point, I guess. Uh, more than likely, I should have taken her back then, but I didn't. And so, hopefully, she can uh, take it easy on me here. Looks like we may also need to loop in with Ashley. But for now, to the Talonator. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Okay. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. It must be for her pilgrimage. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Okay, well, I mean, I've got no reason not to trust go you. Go ahead. Make a copy. You've been good to me. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth hey, armies I'll are defeated. Hey, I'll take it. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, interesting. So, we've given that to her. Now I think it's time to go and help... Uh, Rex. Find the Turian who stole Rex's family armor. It's hiding at a base somewhere in the Argos Row Cluster. Should be simple enough, but... I don't know what's being indicated here on our... Radar. It doesn't look like it's... Oh, I bet you it's... Okay. Because I imagine this is gonna be where... He stores his armor, maybe? Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. Yeah, I think so. so. Shepard. So let's do this for him. I don't mind helping Tally out at all. She's been awesome. And plus, she hasn't had like the most exciting, uh, you know base life here. Basically just coming out on Mako missions and opening up crashed probes. But she's really good at it. She's got the skills. Okay, Argos Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. What? Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. No problem, Hacks. Okay, now. Argos Row Cluster. We've been there before. There it is. There's two locations. I think we've been to Hydra. Let's check Phoenix. Patashi, Tuntau, Silsalto, Vebinok. Got some cobalt going on. In Silsalto, nothing's happening. What about Tuntao? Okay, Tuntao looks like a place we should check out. 
Atashi has some Merium. Very interesting. Are there any other little... Look, we've got something here. Carbonaceous Asteroid. Okay. Prothean Data Disk Recovered. Tally determined was Corian in nature. Okay, right on. Let's head to Tuntau. I hope this is the right location. Uh, you're definitely coming, Garrus. You can come as well. Okay, so we've got hidden structure, anomalies, and debris way over there. Let's uh, really quickly head to the hidden structure. Find out if this is the right place. Um, who stole Rex's family armor? He's hiding at a base somewhere in the Argos Row. Okay. And if this is the right location. We'll, uh, we'll check this out, and then we'll probably bring Tally down to check out the anomaly and the, the other debris on the planet. Actually, let's just make sure here. Let's see. Let's work on Nemesis, Garrus, get Master Overkill, and Rex. Let's have you go in... Let's get you towards Master Carnage. I think you're pretty well set up, Garrus. So are you. Yeah, we're all set. Heading to position. Let's just make sure that you guys are rocking when I want you to. Yeah, that's great. Whoa! And just like that. Whoa! Hoo -hoo. That Come was on. pretty quick. Okay, man. Let's do this. This is the place. Oh, good. My armor's here somewhere. All right. One thing that I would like to do. There we go. I need you guys to be able to see what's happening here. Watch out up top. Take cover. Go, go, There's a pirate go, go, down. Go, go, go. Go, go. I'll catch him from the backside here. Go, go, go. These guys are tough. Actus. Beat him. Okay, we should actually... My god. What do we got going on here? Synthetics, that's why we're having trouble. I'm gonna go organics. Garrus. Uh... Do some toxic damage, that's fine. And Rex. Go shredder as well. Hold the line! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! go you guys are go. still pretty tough. Bad. Hold the line. Enemy is everywhere. There we go. Where's the last one? Go, go, go. Oh, he's up top. 
Well, let's check things out while he's messing around. Okay, a couple of weapons. There we go. I'm a little busy here. Yeah, I got that, Rexy. There he is. I lost shields. Nice miss. Rex, this armor better be worth it, man. Let's just check things out on this side first. Oh, here it is. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, we got biotic amps. Uh, I'm already pretty much set. And you could take the Polaris, a little bit better for you. The upgraded version of what you already had. Incendiary rounds. A blade of coating. It's kind of a tough call. I think these are both really good. The shield modulator is probably even better for me. Okay. Cryo rounds and weapon upgrades. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you. Oh, it goes both ways. So sweet. Rex touches his grandfather's armor, his expression thoughtful perhaps, Krogan hard to read. And he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. No sense standing around. Now, is this armor that he can actually use? I don't think so. He says it's a piece of crap, so it's mostly just sentimental in value. We're actually pretty close on a lot of these other things as well. Uh, but now it's time to head to Vermeer. Let's do it. What we will do is, uh, because we're so close to those other things, I want to make sure that we're finding everything that we can. And so, what I'm thinking is, uh, I'm gonna grab Tally, run down there, and grab those other things quickly. Alright, Tally and Ashley, why not? Okay, Ashley, um, work on Soldier a little bit, Tally, Advanced Shield, there we go. Now we'll head here, and then we'll head to the Debris. Probably better to go around this thing. Those were some of the, I would say, not, well, yeah, they were pretty aggressive, too, but those were some of the more difficult enemies that we've had to face thus far. But we also, we were using, uh, not optimized 
ammunition for the first part of the battle, so... Hello, pyramids. In route. Let's just take a little look see here. Nothing going on up here. I'm right here. But what do we have? We've got an Asari capsule. Uh-oh. This is not good. Matriarch's writings. Okay. Very cool. That's actually the last... Okay, that was good. Because that was the last one that we needed. Good job, Tally. And last but not least, let's check out the debris. Come on, chugga chugga, chugga chugga. You can do this. Usually these turn out just to be stacks of money. Mercury. Translation. Money. There we go. To the Normandy. So what I'd like to do before we head to Vermeer is just touch base, see how everybody's doing, and uh, make sure that they're ready to take on our next major assignment. Let's see how Kaiden's doing. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. It's probably true. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. So can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. <laughs> Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird. Superior and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. It's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Okay. I thought he'd be a little Hell, bit more hard up about back, it. I don't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? 
He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Wow. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. Whoa! Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. I want to know you're on our side. Whatever needs to be done. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. Lieutenant, I believe we need to get you a posting in recruit. Seriously. Sorry. I have some strong feelings on the subject. I should return to my duties now. Commander? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Actually, that shed some light on Kaiden. Um... That's really interesting. I feel bad for the guy in a way, but... I don't know if that means I should spend more time with him or, you know, out of pity, but... Hello. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? It's not really much I else go. going on, I guess. Goodbye, Shepard. Bye. Let's head downstairs and see what the rest of the crew's doing. Actually, what I should do Looking is sell supplies? a bunch of stuff as well. Let's see what you've you got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Let's give him, like, obviously our level one items. Level fours can go as well. And let's see here. Is this just sorted by level? I think so. I wish I could sort in here, but I can't, so... Let's just check for... I know we have much higher ammo upgrades, so I'm gonna sell pretty much every ammo upgrade that's low like this. Grenades can go too. Omni tools can go. Armor can go. I think I should keep this heavy armor. I have a feeling maybe Ashley can use it, but I'm not sure. And then these can also go. And then we'll look for any duplicates here. Polonium rounds we have tons of. Lots of tornadoes. 
couple strikers. We could sell some cryo rounds. Some tungsten rounds, definitely. Alright, good. We are pretty much loaded. 47, 182, and 5. Whereas Rex has, I'm pretty sure what he has is better. Um, yeah, he's he's already set. Commander, do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I should get back to my. Duty okay, still pissed. Fair enough. Don't maintain themselves, not yet anyway. Mm, still awkward. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. That look, she's just like, mmm, I'm pretty pissed. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. Oh, interesting. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. All right, he's turning into a little bit of a softy. It's Never interesting. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Were you afraid of her? What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way, we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a <laughs> softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, Life support was failing, but I had her. She locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. 
But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Oh, next time. That's awesome. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive, and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural cause. <laughs> Rex, I like her. That's hilarious. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. That's Shepherd. awesome. Okay. Last but not least, let's talk to Tally. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Yeah, I guess not. I should go. See you later. Okay, off to Vermeer we go. Vermeer, Vermeer, I still don't know how it's pronounced, but I assume... Once we head there, then we'll, I'll hear people talking about it, and I can probably adjust as we go. And I think what I'll probably end up doing is taking uh, Garrus. I feel like he's got kind of like... Not the c connection, but I feel like he can relate to... Uh, Saren the most, just because of, they're both Turians and things like that. Uh, let's check if we can use the comm center. No. Um, but let me actually check out what we know about Vermeer first. So, the Solarian reconnaissance team of Vermeer has information about Saren. The message is unclear and the council fears the team is in danger. So, we're trying to rendezvous with the Solarians. Uh, but... Let's see. Pharos is a habit. Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Okay, well that doesn't really help us a ton, but uh, at the end of the day, we will uh, adapt, as always. So, I guess we're going to Vermeer.